What's going on everyone? Doing another draft here on MTG Arena. If you like these videos, please hit that like and subscribe. Let's get right into it. What do we have? We open up a Saram Senior Edis Edisphere. Can't even say that. Arc Priest of Shadows. Uh, gift of Completion is not bad as well. Burgeoning is decent. Um, Saram is pretty nice. I don't know if it's a first pick card. He definitely could take it first pick. Not overly strong there's not a ton of equipment in the format there are a few kite sail and the halberd um there's not also a lot of vehicles there's just the uh racer that three two vigilance thing that can tap for mana and there are some auras um but definitely worthwhile but i think maybe the arc priest is just better here Start your creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield so we'll go ahead and take this Gift of Completion there too is also nice, but I think taking that is the best. Alright, wow, we get a ton of good cards in our next pack. So, Norn's Inquisitor is really strong. Kenra's Spell Spear is really strong. Kami's really strong. Those are probably the best cards in the pack. Raph is also good, um, but I would say probably not as good as these other cards. Um... And then the Invasion is not great. And the Commons, Cosmic Hunger is decent. It's some removal. And these white cards are all playable. Not, not anything special. And Negate and Cleansing are okay. I think it just depends on what we want to go here with um, Black. I mean, I guess Ami probably has the best synergy because this has backup. So backup on here. Green, Black doesn't have a ton of backup counters though. Um, is a little bit awkward. Green kind of lets us go potentially three colors though if we want to. Otherwise we just go red. Uh, man, let's just go red. Go aggro. Any sacrifice stuff. Okay, well, that makes me feel a little bit better about that pick because there's no green in here, so... Uh, there is another Spell Spear, so do we just take two Spell Spears? Final Floor is just so good as well. Um, but hopefully we can find some other removal. Otherwise, Refusal is really good here. What are we passing the last pack? The Norns Inquisitor, so not much white. So I guess the Spell Spear pick worked out. I think if we just cut off red here a bit. Passing the, the Flourish, which kind of sucks, but... Double Spell Spear is pretty awesome. Okay, now we get... Um, Collective Nightmare is really good at removal. Geoderm's okay. We could go red-green, but we haven't seen much green, so I'm fine with passing that. Realm Breaker's Grass is decent, but I don't know if we want to switch into white. And everything else is okay. Surveyor's okay. Icar Drinker's playable. Lookout's okay, but I'll take the Nightmare here. Good removal. Alright, now we need to make a decision. I guess Beat Stick is not bad, so we could stay on with Red. Now we see some Green. Hunger and Tracker, I think, are decent enough signs that Green is still kind of open. Another Geoderm here as well. Saizan, I don't think it's worth playing this. It's quite risky. Uh, it is a 6-5. The only issue is you play this, then your opponent gets two cards first before you do. And then if they just remove it, then it's like you just paid five mana. Kind of wasted your turn. They draw cards. I think actually the beat stick here, we could switch into green, definitely, Geoderm. But I think having this beat stick, we just stay on with red. Black, I think is perfectly fine. And we get an invasion here and a furnace of the rain, so... Pretty nice here, although this invasion is probably just better. Furnace is okay. We don't have any sacrifice outlets. And I've played this before, and I haven't really been able to really use this and sacrifice. So I think it's just not very often that you'll get furnace and a sacrifice outlet. Unless you have quite a few of them in your deck. A really late awakening. This is one of the best cards, in my opinion. Um... It's just so strong. Having a 4-4 Vigilance and then all your Phyrexians of Vigilance as well is quite strong. So I'm going to take it here. We could take the land, but I think there's no point taking land this early. 
Um, Unsealing Acropolis is always good. Having some graveyard recursion is nice. Um, not much else. Not a huge fan of Ren's Resolve. I mean, you could play like one, but five color invasion here, but we'll take the unseal. Perfectly happy with that. All right, so we get a frontliner or gorilla. We get um, some red battles and stuff like that. The frontliners are actually pretty good and hard to deal with sometimes. Um, that being said, gorilla is decent. It's a nice flyer with some evasion. Um, yeah, I gotta take the frontliner. I think having two drops is just really important. And we'll probably see more gorillas later. Okay, we can take a slasher here or a battle fan. Scroll shift, I don't think we're going into white, although this is nice with the awakening. You can scroll shift this, get another uh, token and stuff, so some good value there, but not a huge fan of this heal slasher, but we'll take it. It's probably going to get cut. That's probably going to cut as well, so. All right, so so far it's looking good. We just need a bit more removal, so there's another three drops. I don't mind passing up the... Uh, what did I pass up? Took something on the front there? I don't even remember. Um, so this is not bad. Scrounger is always nice. Uh, Timoret is also good, but it is double black. Yeah, we'll take the Scrounger. I don't know if that's the right pick. Okay, so Geoderm's still going around. Wow, another Geoderm. Or I just take this for... Possibly... Yeah, we'll take the Geoderm. I don't know, no one likes red-green here. Oh, okay. Well, we open up a Judith, which is pretty sweet. Other creatures you control get plus one plus oh. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, this Judith deals one damage to any target. So this is pretty nice. Like, allows your creatures to get in. Your opponents might not want to block them, or else they might trade off. Or this just does damage to extra things, so... Um, pretty good here. Omnath here, and we're not going to go for colors here. Um, so probably Judith is the pick. What else do we have? Not much else in red-black here. Um, all these cards are not great. Kind of just a weak pack in general. Hoplite's decent. But we'll go ahead and take Judith here. Pretty, pretty happy with that. Okay, another frontliner. This is a Herbology Instructor. I don't think we're going into green. That keeper is good. I mean, we could go Jund again, but three colors, often you get color screwed. I think we'll just take the frontliner. Not a great pick here, but I don't know what's better. We could take like one of these green cards. Not a huge fan of the racer. So looking like not a great first two cards where we get their Judith and a frontliner, but I guess that's okay. We're filling out a curve, so having like five or six two-drop creatures, especially in an aggressive deck, is uh, really important. Um, we're going to want some more instant and sorceries, mainly probably instants for the spell sphere. Uh, because if we can flip this on turn three and have a turn four uh, flipped 3-3 three, three, trample ward two with double prowess, that's pretty hard to deal with. Um, okay, there's an invasion of Olgatha here. Um, not a huge fan of this one. It is three damage to any target, so you could get in field damage to the opponent. Um, three three flyer is not the strongest though. I mean, it does get pumped up whenever a creature and opponent dies. Prankster here might just be best pick or gorilla. Depends, what do we want? Three drop or two drop? We've got four and two creatures here. Um, I think I actually take the gorilla here. I kind of like this over the prankster. Okay, another collective nightmare, so we'll probably take that. Wow, an invasion here is nice. Cosmic hunger. This angelic intervention is actually a really strong card. Uh, give something protection, and then you put a counter on it, it's pretty strong. The agent here is good here, but we need removal, so we'll take the nightmare.
Okay, another beat stick barrage up late here, tracker. So we could have taken green. We could have had quite a few good green cards. So maybe that was a bit of a mistake on my part. We had the geoderms. We don't have a ton of battles though. So the geoderms are not as good, but they still pump up a creature when they attack. They just don't get the counter. I think we'll go the revelation here. We could take another beat stick. I don't think we need two though. All right, uh, great sword is okay. This is better in like probably a blue red convoke deck. Definitely put it in ours, but I don't think it's really worth it. Charger and slasher might even just take the slasher here. The charger is not bad as well, but menace is nice. It will flip our invasion automatically if it gets through. Well, not automatically, but unless it has more than eight counters on it, so yeah, not terribly excited about this pick, but I could take the mirror to an advantage, but kind of like a situational card. Uh, this pack's pretty terrible. Let's take the Icker Shade. It's not the best, but I guess <clears throat> combos with the beat stick. This is um, artifact or creature was put in the graveyard from the battlefield. It's only on your turn, but if you're using the treasures on your turn, it gets pumped up. Okay, that's really nice. I really like the Invasion of Asgall in red-black. Uh, so pretty happy to see that. Um, Not a whole lot here. Wow, Hoplite went all the way around. Might just take the Kite Sail. Having some evasion is not bad. Depth Guard is okay. We don't have a lot of ways to pump it up. I guess Kite Sail and Beat Stick would do it. But let's take the Kite Sail here. Uh, this pack's pretty terrible. Could just take the land. I don't think we'll go into white for any reason, but I don't think I'll play the failed conversion or any of the other cards, so might as well take the land. Okay, frontliner went all around, so I guess I probably didn't need to take these two early, but might even take one more here. Give us five two-drop creatures. Not sure if I'm going to play that depth guard anyways, so... Uh, we'll take the Slasher, probably not playing another one. Hey, Beat Stick went around anyway, so we do have the option to play two if we want. Alright, last pack here. This is a terrible pack for us. <laughs> um, Ral and Carry Zev is pretty good, but blue-red. Sensor's not bad. Agar's okay, some good green stuff. I guess we should have went into green. Burgeoning would have been nice here, but... Too late for that. I guess it's between Dreadship or Oilcaster or Gargantuan. I guess we don't really have many uh, late game plays here, so the Gargantuan is actually probably pretty good. These are both okay. This will probably wheel, potentially. We've already got the Slasher, which might be a little bit better than this. Um, I don't know. 2-4 is not bad, and this does have a chance to become a 5-4, so maybe the Oilcaster is slightly better, but... All right, so I ran out of time there, but we'll take the uh, Gargantuan. All right, and Aurelia, the war leader. So this is a pretty strong card, but we're not in white. Flying Vigilant Haste, whenever it attacks for the first time each turn, untap all creatures, and there's another combat phase, so pretty sweet. Another Artistic Refusal. We've seen two of these now, I think. Uh, Thalid here is really nice, and there's not much else for black or red. I don't think we'll play the Corrupted Crypt. Corrupted Conviction, so... Yeah, Thalid's a nice two-drop. We can get rid of one Frontliner if we want in replace of it. All right, we'll cut out these. We're not in uh, white or green. Uh, All right, what's in this pack? Not a whole lot. Another Invasion. Artisan is okay. Um, Valduck is okay. We don't really have a lot of equipment and auras. We just have the Beat Sticks and this. Could take the invasion. We're light on removal. Got only two in the invasion. Maybe we'll take this. We've got 15 creatures already. We have to. We'll play the invasion. All right. This is pretty nice. Wow. An invasion and volcanic spite and gift of completion. And a fear of the skull. So. I guess it just all depends. Invasion. Is pretty nice, especially with the frontliners here, but I think Volcanic Spite. 
is just what we need here though. Just a little bit better. Um, I don't know. Invasion is nice. Also, Gift of Completion is really nice. This is just a tough pack. Tons of cards here. Fear of Skull is pretty good too. I think we just want the Volcanic Spite though. I could be wrong. Two of these invasions could be pretty good, but... Um, okay, not much here for us. A lot of other stuff. Marshall's good. Furge is pretty good. But red, black, I guess we'll take the oil caster. Is there any way we play the depth card? We've only got like one, two ways to pump it. No, I don't think we're going to play that. I got one of those at least. Wow, a lot of stuff in other cards. This is like the third artistic refusal. This is a really strong card. Cryptomancer is always annoying to play against. Blue is just really strong in this format, but take another gorilla here, I think. Probably cut out one beat stick. Okay, we could take the Icker Drinker here. Yeah, nothing else worse here. Invasion of Lauren's okay, but not in green. Wow, this is also like the second or third Marshall we've seen too, so I have no idea what people are playing. All right, we'll take the rare for gems here. Another rare for gems. Not play any of those other cards. We got a pretty good looking deck here. Um, I don't think we'll play Valduck. We'll maybe play Ren's Resolve, but probably not. A lot of two drops here. I don't know what I want to cut out. We could cut out like one front layer. Hey, the invasion came around. That is sweet. I didn't think that would wheel, but I guess the, the first one we got came around late, so I'm pretty happy with that. 28 cards. We need to probably go down to 16 cards here. Uh, this is going to be hard to cut down. I guess we'll probably cut out the invasion now that we've got Volcanic Spite and the other invasion of Asgol here. Probably should cut down a 2-drop, but I just love having a ton of 2-drops here. Might cut out the Icker Drinker. We're at 17 creatures. Definitely go 16 lands here, because we got the Beat Stick and our curve is just super low. Let's cut that out. Um, this is nice, though, for life gain. You do get a creature out of it when it dies as well. Well, you get the incubate token, which turns into a creature, but you know what I mean. Alright, what's our colors here? Pretty much 50-50, so let's start off with 8 and 8 lands. We'll get rid of Yargo. 9-3, not really what we're looking for here. Um, I think we've got to cut it 1-2 drop. Let's look at how our creatures look here. We've got five, six creatures. These go as the creature slot, even though they don't really count as it, which is kind of annoying. Um, yeah, what are we at? 17 creatures. I think I'm leaning towards cutting out the Icker Drinker. Um, I don't really want to cut out any of these two drops. I did cut out one invasion here, but I do like the removal. I don't know, do we cut out Revelation and Kite Sail? Like, I don't love that. It just leaves us with kind of removal and creatures, but sometimes that is just good. Um, Revelation is nice, though. It just gets rid of big threats. We don't really have anything that kills big creatures. These are all small creature removals. I guess these, the invasions, could kill big creatures, but... Kite Sail is also nice. does give us some evasion. Well, I'm not sure we really need it with small removal and beat stick. And... Uh, this is tough. I think we'll cut the Echo Drinker for sure. I like having five three drops here as creatures. 
All right, we'll cut these out, but I'm not sure if that's the right, right play. We could have cut out maybe one two-drop creature there and put in a kite sail or something. I don't know. Hard to say. Or the revelation. Hey, opponent goes first. I feel like I've played this person before. Verveland, whatever you say that. Go ahead and keep here. Pretty good hand. Invasion, shade, removal. Another invasion. And he's mulliganing down, so that's unfortunate, but... We will take it. Right, white green knights potentially. Right now, the question is: Do we play spell spear or just play the invasion? I mean, I guess if we. Could play the invasion out next turn, play the shade. And then turn after that, play Spell Spear and Nightmare. The only thing with playing invasions out before creatures is now you can't really attack them. Well, that sucks now. Um, what do we want to do here? Maybe beat stick, equip, play spell spear. Oh, I guess it's... It was, uh... I guess... Artifact, or player orb... Didn't get the, uh, counter off its damage to player orb battle, so... Stupid flying trampler is going to kill us here. Not even sure if attacking this right now is really worth it. We'll get a creature. We can't pump it up all the way. Seven. We're on like a two-turn clock. We can play the spell spear. We actually need to use this to flip it. It's fine though. The shade will get pumped up. We're in a bit of trouble here though. Mm, 
Yeah, that's gonna kind of screw us over. Oh, what do we want to do here? This kind of sucks. Um... Play the invasion down here. Ah, oh, crap, we can't play it? Ah, the stupid sensor. Ah, damn you, sensor! <laughs> well, there goes that plan. Whoops, I guess I should have just attacked him. He would have taken five there. This is going to come in tapped. Ah, I don't know if I could have won that game, but that was definitely a play mistake on my part. Alright, we go first. We'll keep this. Two thrashers and an invasion. Could be worse, but... Alright, so that's a super sweet draw. Um, let's see if he doesn't play a two drop creature here. And another frontliner out. Well, okay. Now the question is do we even care about that? If he wants to trade here, totally fine with the trade.
now we can play the invasion and beat stick next turn. It's not actually that'll flip it too. Wow, that's really annoying. Who plays Thunder the Gateway? Are you serious? Why couldn't you just play a creature? We would have equipped Invasion and it would have been game. It's like he knew we had this in our hand or something. It's like, well, I guess he doesn't have much else here, but I guess we just go with the Invasion here. He's going to know we have the Invasion of Asgall, but that's fine. We'll get two more cards. I guess he didn't have anything else to play, but that was kind of a poor play on his part. Okay, so this you kind of want to discard the lands on your turn because then you can play that card. If you discard the lands on your opponent's turn, then um, you don't get the card that you exile. Alright, I guess we'll just go for this creature. I guess we could have killed that. We'll see if he... Probably he's not going to flip this, though, but... Oh, that was pretty nice. Alright, there we go. Got the win. So that was a better game for us there. Didn't make a play mistake. Well, maybe I could have played that better. I don't know. But we still got the win there, so that's all that matters. Alright, playing another Mythic here. 491. Agoo! Bunch of two drops and three lands. Let's do it. I guess we'll probably lead out with the Spell Spear, probably. We'll see what he... What he's playing. Hmm. Actually, I also have no. Let's lead out with the Thalid. We have no spells for this for prowess, so. Let's lead out with that.
We'll attack in. He's likely got removal. Take your pick which one you want to kill. Probably I'd rather kill the spell spear because we got no no um ways to pump it up. Yep, kinda of figure he had that. So good thing we didn't flip this. Got in for two damage, stays alive. Hopefully we can flip it this turn. Might even just go double two drops. I think double two drops here is better. Also, we don't get uh, countered by a, another piece of removal, so he's probably got something for the salad here now, too. So that's a bit unfortunate. Two pieces of removal for our strong two drop creatures, but hopefully we get something down here. Legion of Asgol or whatever would be nice. Is that valid? Goes for the flip here. I guess the question is do we want to probably kill this over the Rager? We can get in for next turn. block here now, otherwise that's game over. Which might be just game over anyways, we're gonna get back. Um what, that would or spell spear. I think he's in a pretty good spot. Ah, uh, that sucks. position here he's got a chump the arc priest and then he's got to block something else so can't clean down the one Can exile this. Is this artifact or a creature? Okay, so three mana he can exile, sack it, draw a card. 
Okay. That's fine. Alright, pretty good draw for us here. I think that's just game. What does he have? If stoke the flames or something? I mean, I guess no matter what, he's most likely dead here. Well, not necessarily. Good block this 3 2. This Judith is going to kill him, though. Alright, there we go. Got the game. I'm not sure why he didn't exile this. Alright, on to the next match here. Uh, we go first. Pretty good hand. Just need another land here. We are playing the Rasmus. I'm a player. Pretty much going to be playing all good players. You do get matched up with like some lower leagues sometimes in Mythic. Not really sure how that works. I think I'm going to pair it up as low as Platinum, but um, I guess if there's just not enough uh, people available to play, it'll pa match you up with someone uh, a little bit lower. Alright, what has he got? Nothing here. Land. Nice. Yes. And a safe, we'll get the gorilla. Could have played the front line, like if we draw another land next turn, we'd play the invasion, but um I think no matter what he plays out as a three drop, the front line or the three three trample attacking the battle here going to be fairly hard to stop. Mm, we don't draw our land. So I guess we just swing in for three, play another gorilla. Really wanted to land there. But if we're going to land next turn, we can drop this down. So not the worst. Opponent's thinking here. It looks like they're also a bit land screwed. Otherwise, they're just taking their real sweet time here. Maybe they got a tap land and an untap land. Trying to do calculations, but looks like they're a little bit land screwed, so I'm not sure what they have. Okay, all that time just to play a land and pass. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so we still don't get our fourth land, which really sucks. We need we need these out. Yeah. But we'll attack in with both here and see what he does. Do I even care if he flips this into like a 4-4? Four -four? Probably not. I think probably the other frontliner here is maybe better than the Ballad. We'll go ahead and kill that now. I think that's fine. Having a 5-5 five five would block our frontliner is pretty good. He could have transformed this into a 4-4, four four, so I don't mind that play. I was kind of waiting. Maybe something better. But now I just got a 2-2. Two two. We draw a land here. We're in real good position. We can... Uh, Pressure with, with the invasion, get in. I mean, 
even be worth it, though. I mean, I guess we can throw both frontliners at the invasion. He could double block one. Um, but... Okay, so we draw the land here. Go ahead and play the land. Got no other creature, so... I guess he cannot pump this up. One blue. He could have a dispersal, but... I guess we could play the slash route, and then we don't lose the Thalid. Okay, now this keeps the pressure on. We can play the invasion attack and the thrasher against it next turn. Or possibly just go straight for the face here, but this way, if we play the invasion, we exile the Valid. Then um, we can still play it. If we didn't, if we played the invasion last turn, we would not have been able to play the slasher and Thalid because that would have been six mana, and uh, we don't have enough mana there. So at least this way now. Um, he might just be dead here. Go for the face here. Alright, so that's enough. Just enough damage there, so extra one damage from the invasion there. So pretty good. We had the good tempo, good hand, and uh, had a couple answers there. We had the uh, uh, removal on his uh, Vat Keeper there, whatever, his 3-3, three, three, so worked out well. We are 3-1, and one, moving along. We go first. We're playing Ambush Party. Hopefully we don't get ambushed here. Uh, he's got Lutri as a companion, so that's a little bit annoying. Uh, we go first, though. Spell Spear, Invasion, Judith, another Invasion, so pretty good here. Turn to Spell Spear. What could he have here? Could have Cryptomancer, Final Flourish, we'll let it go through. Most likely has Cryptomancer would be my guess. Hey, Counterspell, I was worried he'd have a Final Flourish or something when trying to flip this, so... I think we just flip this. And pass. Okay, that's not good. up two mana. I am very confident he's got a um, Cryptomancer here. Probably gonna sack the Ecker Drinker, but now we can swing in. If he wants to trade off here, he does not, so that's good. We got another creature. Oh, 
they did have the Cryptomancer there, so that's what he had early game. So he's hoping to trade off the uh, Icker Drinker with that. So I think we made the right call. I'm not sure why he ditched it. I mean, red, black, I feel like he just doesn't have creatures that he wants to protect, so. Okay, that's fine. Just holding up with Ant's form in this, probably. Alright, well, let's slam this down. he could triple block the spell spear in which case trading off two for one is not bad throw everything at this. Yeah, that's fine. He might spend a lot at the spell spear to kill it. I guess he's got a triple block it to kill it. In which case trading off two for one here is not bad. Because we've got menace. I could actually kill his analyst, which is a little bit annoying. He is getting card filters. But I think it's fine. It We'll do that, I guess. And the Reaper gets bigger too. Don't mind losing the Spell Spear anyways because we got another one. We can flip it. Uh, we don't actually have anything for Powerus yet either, so... Okay, he's digging here. I think we're in pretty good shape now. I guess the only awkward part is I don't even know if this can get in next turn. Unless we draw a land or something else, we could do the rest of the damage here. Lutrian in hand is a little bit scary, but also means he can't do anything else next turn, so. Okay, that's fine. get both down here as long as he doesn't have a uh, board wipe. Please no board wipe. This is going to get pumped up next turn as well. It attacks in. He's got seven cards, so um, this will be a five four menace next turn, which is pretty nice. Both these menace creatures makes it hard for him to um, have blockers back, so he's got to do something here. He is just passing. What is going on here? So he didn't put Lutri in hand.
Well, we'll just go ahead and attack and see what he has. creature. Go ahead and kill off this. A little bit annoying. I gotta land. I guess we'll keep this, this scrounger back. Maybe we should have played it out. I guess he's got double blockers on the oil caster next turn. Let's see what he chooses to do here. Okay. Maybe we should have played this out last turn, free combat. there. Hoping for a land there, but I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Wouldn't have been able to kill him, but in decent shape unless he dropped something big here, but maybe we made a bit of a play mistake on not playing the scrounger out the turn before. Well, you can kill something here, but... Still taking two this turn. Alright, and that's just a... Lucky draw. Four removal. I mean, we still would have been good. We could have scroungered, he would have taken two. If we draw another land, we killed him with the, uh, the invasion there. That was flipped, so maybe we played that. A little bit poorly on the one turn, not playing the scrounger, but um, got the win there, so happy about that. All right, four and one, rolling long here. All right, we go first. Not a bad hand. Beat stick, spell spear. Uh, land, we can get the gorilla out. We start playing gas, Catherine D. Not make any jokes about that. Um. Got all creatures. I think I'd rather get this out in case he's got removal than spell spears a little bit more valuable. But we're gonna go ahead and try and equip here. So okay, that's fine. We need the uh, mana here, so good to get that. Hey, not what we want to see. Looks like they are contemplating attacking, which is a bit surprising. Um, that is pretty nice. Glad we don't have another. We don't have a uh, removal spell, but we're going to be able to flip this. This is going to get pumped up, and we get a treasure. Um, I guess we'll get the spell spear out. Still kind of sucks. I think we might have made a bit of a mistake not
God, where's my lands here? I think he's probably holding up some sort of counter spell here. Cryptomancer. Okay, that's fine. I'm not killing that anyway, so. Oh, getting man screwed here, but the beat stick is keeping us in this game here. He hasn't got any value off the seed shark yet. Get the gorilla down. And counter this artistic refusal. Kinda figured he had that. I could have transformed instead. Um Yeah, maybe I should have transformed. Really kinda expected a counter spell there. So, a little bit of a misplay on my part. Kind of knew they had something, just passing turns pretty suspicious. Does not attack and I think he's a little bit scared of these spell spear, which is kind of nice. Um, this kind of sucks. We're just stuck on mana here. Could play out two frontliners. I guess we get the gorilla down. We can start attacking in the air, so... Go ahead and do that. I don't like that they, they've got four cards in hand. It's a lot of stuff going on. I'd really like to get this Gargantuan down and draw some more cards, but just have not been able to get lands here. It plays an invasion. That sucks. Probably going to tap down the gorilla. Oh, that was a lot of value. Tap down, get two creatures. 
just cannot draw lands here. Frustrating. Spear. I guess I'm contemplating which one to flip, Spell Spear or the Thalid. So, if we lose this game, I think it's because I didn't plan around that artistic refusal better. And... Alright, he's going all over here. Finally, a land might be a little bit too late. Yep, that sucks. I think we are very screwed this game. We're not getting through his blockers here. So I'm not sure if we could have won this game or not. Um, Alright, that's game. I'm not sure if we could have won that or not. We played a little bit differently. I think that artistic refusal turn really screwed us over. Um, I should have definitely knew he had something. So uh, maybe flipping the... One of our creatures there instead would have been better, so... My own fault should have played around that, I think, a little bit better. We are playing Pack and Ho. Um... What do we do here? Draw black, land, swamp, and we're good. Otherwise, we're just sitting around doing nothing. Not sure we can really keep this. Only getting to six, though, just really sucks. I'm not going to keep it. Hopefully, the spell spear keeps us alive. We've got two turns to draw black land, because this is going down turn two. And actually, maybe even three. If we flip this on turn three... Yeah, we get one anyways here. Um, do we play Judas out and swing? Cycling, that's nice. Glad to see that over a uh, final flourish or something like that. So, really want to get rid of this Icker Drinker.
One blue, what can he have? I think just... He was a 4-4, four, four, not a 4-3. Well, that's okay. If he just plays a big creature, we can invasion. We can always unseal. We got nightmares, so we're doing okay here. that hopefully now he just plays a big creature we can uh, invasion it we also got the unseal even though we've only got the spell spear right now but hopefully he just plays a big creature here it does not should have unsealed on my turn to get the spell spear back down but okay that's not bad at least we got two un definite unsealed targets now the invasion I guess so menace creature here is good and also gives us lethal probably next turn they just play one big creature and they are uh, that's game over Yeah, kind of thought that was coming. Luckily, we don't have anything that big. I think he's... Probably just dead anyways. go so he was dead there anyways he could have blocked taken six so we beat breach the multiverse that card is quite good but not necessarily game ender especially late game when you're a little bit behind if you're in control of the game and you play that you'll probably win but luckily we uh we drew our swamp there if we didn't draw a swamp we would have been quite screwed um i also made a play mistake on swinging in with that spell spear so that was my own fault i thought it was a four four not a four three but also the the double trade was not bad because um 
they had anything else to play than um had the invasion of Asgold to kill off their creatures, so maybe it wasn't the worst play, but I don't think it was ideal for sure. Alright, we are number 304 now, playing Samurai Jack. Pretty good hand, beat stick and two drops. Um, usually pretty good. Got an unseal as well, so... Hopefully we draw a few more lands and a few pieces of removal or something, and... Uh, we should be good. Invasion of Asgol here would be pretty nice. Land next turn would be nice. Okay, that's not bad. The question is now, do we play the frontliner? I'm going to say yes. Stay aggro. Otherwise, we could have saved it for the oil caster next turn, but... Hopefully he doesn't play anything with bigger than two toughness and we can get in. Make our decision to play that worthwhile. Wow, we know two lands, that sucks. Um... Probably get rid of the Gargantuan, we don't have enough land anyways. That sucks. Um, you know, that, I guess. Maybe the Gargantuan was not a good play, because if he has anything... If he's got any removal next turn... We play a little bit cautious. If he's got any removal for the oil caster, he could flip this. I don't think we want that. Maybe I shouldn't have discarded this, but I guess it would have been the oil caster instead. Hopefully, we play something and then we can unseal our creatures back. He's going in for the attack. Is there any merit to double blocking here? What can he have? He could have a final flourish. He could have deadly derision. So if I double block, he deadly derisions the oil caster. So I think just single blocking. He could have a final flourish here. It may have made the wrong call there, but. Alright, do we play the invasion? He's gonna sack the order. Do we try and attack in? I highly doubt he's gonna block here.
A little bit un a little bit risky unsealing now, but um get rid of the oil caster. Could have a counter spell, but also have a cryptomancer here. So the Reaper gets pumped up from the uh, treasure, which is nice. I guess he was thinking I didn't have a land there, so that's why we didn't play it pre-combat. He can gain a lot of life with Timurit, though, so he's still, even though he's at 10, he can gain like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 life. Swing in with everything here. See what he has. I don't think there's any instant damage to flip these, so we should be fine. At least not in blue and black. Um, we can play down the front liner. Yeah, that's fine. I'm doing that now is nice. I guess he's gonna. Okay, he just takes the 11. Do they counter for this? Well, he'll survive maybe one more turn from gaining life off Timurit, but... How many more creatures he's got? One, two, three... One, two, three creatures left, so he can gain another... Real life. He also needs six mana open. He's got only seven mana. So, depending on what he plays here, he can't gain life. One, two, three. We can go up to eight. So I think he's... Dead on board here, unless he's got something. It's nine damage. He can gain life, but... He's gonna need to kill off the Gargantron here as well, I think. I, I could have equipped here, but if he's got any kind of removal... 
then he could have killed the Gargantran, like, if he's got a deadly version or whatever it's called. That's why I wanted to leave it on here. No, he's got removal. Putting it on one of these menace... Killing one of the menace creatures is a little bit less effective. Well, I mean, the Reaper is probably most annoying right now because it's got menace, but... He's doing something. The double. He's just... Uh, he's not quite dead. Ah, uh, maybe he is. Eight, seven. Yeah, and he's dead. Alright, there we go. Well, we went up quite a few ranks there, I think. Alright, last game here. Uh, we are, what, six and two? Alright, let's do it. Can we get that trophy? Alright, we are playing Man from... Earth. Right, the beat stick again. This beat stick has been real good turn one. Um, we don't have any two drops, which kind of sucks, so it's a little bit slow. We are on the draw. We're going to have two opportunities to draw a two drop. Got, what, like seven or eight in the deck. So that's probably like a, what, 30% chance we draw one? I don't really know. Anyways, we're going to keep it. draw a two drop so that's fine we've got gorilla okay it's a little bit annoying he's gonna put the pressure on here we're in a bit of a tough situation now because we want to get we want to leave our creatures out so we can flip the invasion here but All right, what do you got? I don't think we can take five here. All right, that's good. Slow the, slow the damage down, and then we can get the oil caster out. Um, I don't even think we want that gorilla. That's fine. Beats. We're getting beat down. I think we're just dead here. Just no removal, nothing. Um, we can play a land. Can't flip this. We got three cards.
Yeah, we're screwed. I don't think there's anything we could have done different in this game. Just, uh... Did not have any removal, and on the draw sucks, so... Not even that two drop killed us. So maybe I should have mulliganed there. Um, but that's the way it goes. I guess on the draw, having that turn one beat stick was good, but having no removal was not good. So, oh well, it is what it is. We are ranked 330, so not bad. And uh, this is an overview of the deck again. Two spell spears, kind of nice. Two invasions was good. Judith is really good. And uh, this invasion actually wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Um, Arc Priest was decent removal and stuff. So there you go. That is an overview of the deck. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.